Well, that was absolutely incredible. And I mean the penalties. The game itself, not so fascinating. I've just watched the Europa League final. I'm literally watching the uh, the trophy celebrations afterwards. Of course, Villarreal have won the game on penalties. 11-10 on penalties. It went to the goalkeepers and ultimately De Gea missed. Well, actually, no. What you should say is Ruli, the Villarreal keeper, saved the penalty. I don't want to hear De Gea missed the penalty because he didn't, okay? It was actually an okay penalty. It was just the keeper went the right direction. So what's my thoughts on the game? I don't normally do match reviews of other matches, but do you know what? A Europa League final, I'll do one for the Champions League final as well. I thought, why not? Um, isn't it ironic that it's Sir Alex Ferguson that's going to be part of the uh, the trophy celebrations, giving out the trophy and stuff? That's pretty yeah I'm sure he would have liked to have been giving it to Manchester United players but uh, the game itself as I said wasn't phenomenal you can see the stats on screen right now Manchester United definitely dominated the ball um, in terms of chances created it was very even shots very even as well big chances just one each which really is quite incredible um, but what I will say is the first 90 minutes it was definitely more Manchester United in control, but Villarreal looking dangerous on the break. Then in extra time, I thought Villarreal were the better team. And I think based off that, if you exclude the penalties, I'd potentially argue that Villarreal maybe deserved to win. But maybe that's just because I'm an Arsenal fan and I wanted Emery, who's won it four times now. Um, I wanted him and, and Villarreal to win it. I'm just watching the United players pick up the uh, the medals now. I mean, I just saw Bruno literally get the medal and take it off. <laughs> literally, they're taking it off straight away. I don't I don't blame them. No one wants a silver medal. No one wants second place. How did Van der Beek not even get on the pitch, by the way? Um, but yeah, talking about the penalties. Jesus, 10. 10 penalties for Manchester United scored. And they still didn't win. Unbelievable. I've never seen penalties like it. It, just, it was just... Goal, 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 goal. Surely one was going to miss and no. <laughs> it took until the 21st penalty. Absolutely unreal. Or 22nd penalty, technically. I almost wanted it to keep going because then you go around, all the players have to come back and do another one. But um, yeah, I, I feel for David De Gea because he has been a true servant to Manchester United. One of the best keepers in their history and they've had quite a few. And one of the best keepers in Premier League history. And I have a feeling that this might be it for him. I know um, Henderson has been getting a lot of game time this season. I think that's pretty much deserved. Oh, my God. Emery's being lifted by all the players. <laughs> Unai Emery. Good evening, everyone is saying. No disrespect to this man. It didn't work out, work out to Arsenal. Towards the end, we weren't playing good enough football. We haven't improved, but that's not what this video is about. This man is a serial winner. He has taken yet another team to a Europa League final and won the game. Against all odds, you would have said that they were massive underdogs going into this game. And yes, they didn't play particularly attractive football, but they did well with the ball. They were very smooth and ultimately they won the game and that's all that matters. Unbelievable. It truly is. And yes, of course, I would have loved Arsenal to be here in this moment right now winning the trophy but ultimately, we weren't good enough against Villarreal and neither were Manchester United. They deserve to win the trophy. It is what it is. But uh, I'm definitely more excited now for the Champions League final than I was before. Um, in terms of who I'm going to be rooting for, I don't know. <laughs> I, th I think City. I I'd rather neither of them won it, to be fair. But, you know, Chelsea, London team, I would rather City go on to uh, to take that one. But uh, we've also got the championship final coming up soon, the playoff final. So I'll be watching both of those live on my, uh, my Facebook page. But um, there isn't really much else to talk about other than the penalties. I can't remember the last time it went to goalkeepers. That was certainly a long time ago. Um, but I'm so happy it did. It made the uh, the long 90 minutes, well, technically 120 minutes of football worth it because it it wasn't it wasn't good to watch. The game itself was 
very nervy, very edgy. It felt like no team wanted to make a mistake, and that's quite normal in a final. One thing I will say about the penalties, um, it looks like Albiol and Gaspar are going to lift the trophy here together. I think Gaspar's the longest serving player there, right? Oh, here we go. And the trophy has been lifted. Fair play to them, man. Great team. But one thing I noticed in the penalties, it wasn't just the penalties were good. It was actually a lot of mistakes from the goalkeepers. I think both Ruli, I mean, less so Ruli, but De Gea certainly will look back and if he does watch this again, which I'm sure he will he will want to, you know, try and learn from some of the, uh, well, does he, he's such an experienced goalkeeper. What can you learn? You just didn't save them, right? But some of those, those penalties were savable for sure. One of them, it was actually Ruli. He's gone down and the ball's kind of rolled over his arm. It's very unlucky, but also don't put your arm flat with the ground because the ball is naturally bigger than your arm and therefore it's going to go over it. You, you, you're, I'm sure you're taught to keep your arm off the, off the ground for as long as possible. But of course, gravity, you know, but there were plenty of other moments where it's hit their fingers and just kind of bent and gone in. So stronger hands. I grew up watching David Seaman, the strongest hands in the Premier League. Some of the saves he made, incredible. So for sure, the goalkeepers could have done better. They really could have. There were multiple penalties where there was a touch. Um, so I feel like if both teams had potentially a better goalkeeper or just a more informed goalkeeper or just a penalty specialist, a lot of those wouldn't have gone in and maybe it would have ended, you know, 4-3 to someone. Um, it was incredible though. 11-10 on penalties. So what does this mean for Manchester United? I remember a few people saying in my stream that if they don't win this, that Ole could be sacked. I don't believe that for one second. I don't think Ole is in any danger whatsoever. I think he's had a very good season. But ultimately, no trophies. Four years now, Manchester United have been waiting. Their last trophy was a Europa League final, right? I believe. Ibrahimovic in the, in the final there, I remember. Um, second in the Premier League. Finalists of the Europa League. It's a marginal improvement, but ultimately not a successful season. It's going to be the same with Chelsea. If they don't win the Champions League final, all they're getting this season is a top four finish. Same as Manchester United. So it's not great. But the thing is, they've got Champions League football. Villarreal didn't. They finished seventh, I believe, in La Liga. So they missed out on Champions League football. But now that they've won the Europa League, they will be in, cha in the Champions League next season. And that's massive for them. You know, they've definitely had a tough season in La Liga. There's been a lot of uh, of the mid-table teams that have done so well. Uh, it was a crazy end to the season with the top three. Of course, Atletico Madrid went on to win it. Um, but I'm so happy that the team that didn't have Champions League technically had more to play for and got the win. It just so happens that it was Manchester United that failed, which is is good for me. Good for Arsenal fans. We, we lost to the winners. We lost to the eventual winners. There you go. That's that's not too bad. But Villarreal will be in the Champions League and so will Manchester United. So you, you could argue that the team that needed it more got the win. But now it's all about the Champions League final on Saturday. I am predicting a City win. I, I think I would rather City win, but of course I'd, I, I'd have preferred a PSG, a Real Madrid or a Bayern in the final and I would have been rooting for them because although... Obviously, I want English football to do well and I want the world to think the English teams are, are really strong. But I'm an Arsenal fan and we've never won the competition. We've only gone to the final. Same in the Europa League in Baku, of course. And we were one step away this season. Of course, I don't want another English team to win it. It, it kind of hurts, right? So I would have loved PSG to win it this season. But I feel like Man City just have a slightly stronger squad. They will, I think, have too much for, for Chelsea who for sure will be feeling a little bit under pressure. They have not had a very strong last few weeks, losing the FA Cup final, losing to Aston Villa on the last day of the season. Of course, they just about got top four because of Tottenham winning. They are not going into this final in the strongest way possible, but they have beaten Man City recently, so you never know. And in terms of the championship playoff final... I think Swansea will win, but I want Brentford to win because we get their stadium in FIFA. But all in all, guys, this review of the Villarreal game, not much to talk about in terms of the 
the 90 minutes, but really it's all about the penalties. Make sure you go check it out. It's one of the best penalty shootouts I've ever watched. I think the right team won. I think Villarreal, although they didn't play beautiful football and they didn't look like they were going to smash the game or whatever, but they deserve to win based off that incredible extra time that where they, they did so much better. And, oh yeah, one thing I didn't mention, Oli not making substitutions and, and then bringing on Fred. Very strange. I think purely based off that as well, I think Emery did a better job tactically. So, in my eyes, the right team won, but... Um, I get it. United fans watching this, it sucks. Losing on penalties is horrific. I'd say it's worse than than losing the the actual game itself. Um, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. But thank you for watching, guys. I'll do another review for the Champions League final on Stats Day. But please do make sure you check out the stream and watch it live with me. And I'll see you tomorrow for another career mode video.